So it's being reported that Canelo is trying to get out of the PBC deal. He trying to get out of the PBC deal. He want to fight Edgar Belanga, Jaime Munguia, and he wanted to fight Jamal Charlo, but he was not trying to fight David Benavidez, right? And it's so funny, man. I get on YouTube and all this hate. Everybody want to blame the PBC. The PBC is the PBC fault. All the Canelo fans, it's the PBC fault. It's the PBC fault. They should have, you know, they trying to flip it to where Canelo can get absolved. They should have put it in the contract. It's on the PBC. They should have put it in the contract. Bro, if they would have put it in the contract that he had to fight David Benavidez, Canelo wouldn't have signed to the PBC. Let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it a buck. If, he, if they said, you got to fight, you can fight the two dudes of your choice, and then you got to fight David Benavidez as the last fight, he would have never signed over there, and y'all know that. So don't try to blame the PBC for Canelo not wanting to fight David Benavidez. Don't do that. And I'm not a, this is not a channel where I hate Canelo, and I'm not going to act like Canelo is not a great fighter, because he is. He's well accomplished. He's achieved a lot of great things. But in order, when you're great, bro, there is a demand placed on you. When Floyd Mayweather got older, nobody just stopped demanding him to fight individuals. It kept coming all the time, and it never stopped. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they people, the Canelo uh, fanatics trying to absolve him in every way possible. Knock it off, because y'all know. Listen, that's, the, that's one of the biggest fights to make in boxing, Canelo and David Benavidez. Y'all know. If Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford would have never fought each other, y'all would have clowned them out to the heavens above. They would have been every type of, you know, running and, and scary motherfuckers. They would have been every name in the book had they not fought. In fact, people were still calling them that even when it fought because it took y'all too long, right? But when it come to Canelo Alvarez, oh, Canelo done done a lot of great things. He don't got to fight. He don't got to fight David Benavidez. He don't got to. Bro, when have y'all, like, when has the boxing community... Stop clamoring for great fights. When do we make excuses for dudes not to fight individuals, you know what I mean, who are also at the top of the sport? When do we try to not make fights happen? Because I remember when y'all were saying that, oh, all the LDBC guys don't want, they don't want an Errol Spence to fight Terrence Crawford. Yo, and Terrence and Errol made the fight happen, right? Now we see Canelo trying to move away from the fight. He trying to move away from the fight, and now it's the PBC fault. I told y'all a lot of that PBC hate be masking the fact that I hate black fighters. I hate that black company over there run by that black dude, Al Heyman. So you want to flip it into hate all the way over there all the time. Even when PBC was making big fights happen, it was still I hate PBC propaganda. Why is that? Why is that? I told y'all a lot of that I hate PBC stuff means I hate black fighters. I hate Al Heyman. I hate Al Heyman's black ass. That's what a lot of they be masked mask as, right? So ain't no, 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 no. Ain't no blaming PBC for Canelo Alvarez not wanting to fight David Benavidez. That's on him. That's on him. He know how to make a big fight happen. He know how to make something shake. He didn't done it before, you know? And I seen, and, and you know, a lot of the Canelo fans, they trying to flip it off to, oh, don't, I don't want to hear about Floyd Mayweather fighting Jose Luis Castillo because what the fuck they got to do with Canelo fighting um David Benavidez. I don't want to hear about, oh, oh, this one and that one and all. No, we talking about him, Canelo Alvarez, making that fight happen. You got Canelo fans over here talking about, well, Canelo always been a risk taper, risk taker. He always took, he always took the big fights. He fought Floyd Mayweather, you know, when he came, bro, he had no choice. That was the top dog. You want to get the money, you go fight Floyd Mayweather. And he thought he could beat Floyd, right? He, it was no risk for him to fight Floyd. Floyd, if anything, it was, it was a risk for Floyd to fight him because Floyd was 36 years old with brittle hands and he easily schooled him. You know, but don't get him here acting like Canelo has took a lot of great challenges. He took some great challenges, and he's a uh, he's a great fighter. But don't act like that fight was a risk for him. He was going for the top dog, going for the gusto, trying to get the cash cow to become the new cash cow, right? Eventually, he became that, but he lost to the to the cash cow of of our generation, Floyd Mayweather Jr. And he lost easily, right? But you know, yeah, there's all this. Oh, PBC should have made him do it. Bro, no. It ain't on them to make that. Canelo, be you want to be the all-time baddest man on the planet? You go fight the dude that they say is the baddest young dude around. You go fight him and show us that you can whoop his ass. Because from what I'm feeling like, I feel like Canelo don't want no smoke with that big-ass dude, David Benavidez. I don't think he really want to fight that fight for real. I think he knows it's a challenge. You know what I mean? And 
you know, I, I, again, I, I remember people was clowning Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford trying to clown them into take in and into into taking those fights, right? Why y'all don't want to do the same for Canelo? Why y'all don't want to put no pressure on him to get that fight made? It's the fight that everybody want to see, but it's always an excuse. Oh, he oh, it's the PBC. They should have they should have put it in the contract, bro. What? Bro, knock it off. They under the same promotional company. They under the same company. They under the same stable. PBC ain't like oh, like when Arrow and Arrow and them weren't even under the. Uh, they was for years on different sides, different sides. Canelo came over there to PBC. Why you can't? Why would they need a, a, a in the contract to make an in-house fight? That should be simple to make. Why would they need to put that in the contract for him? If he wanted to be great, if he wanted to be the dude, why would they need to put that in the contract? This is an in-house fight. Let's make it happen. It makes sense. It makes dollars. Why? PBC. Oh, it's the PBC. PB, like I said, if they would have put that in the contract, Canelo would have never signed over there. Now people are trying to blame PBC. He need to go sign somewhere else. If I was David Benavidez, I would leave the PBC. Everybody want, you know, trying to get... Because the agenda is, I hate Al Heyman's black ass. And I hate the, the black fighters over there at PBC. So that's that I hate PBC shit. I hate them black dudes over there under the PBC umbrella. So now you want David Benavidez to get away from Al. Get away from him. Get away from him. To make it, you know, to give credibility to your uh, idea or your narrative that the PBC ruined this fight. No, man. You, Canelo don't want to go over there and get in, the, get in the ring with dude for whatever reason. He don't want that smoke. He feel like that big ass dude might cause some trouble for him. That's my opinion. I'm out.